Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunder's Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up, guys, and welcome back to another cool, fun tutorial. This one should be pretty easy. It is on the Star Wars Imperial Walker, or at at whatever you want to call it. ATAT, -AT, everybody's got their own little name for it. I call it an at at. This is my design. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Hopefully those of you who have already seen it in my little promo video for this Endor type build that I have going on in my world. I just want to take a little stab at Star Wars designs and I think everything come out quite nicely. If you're looking for the landing platform, it will be tied in with the Tidarium shuttle tutorial and there will be a uh, annotation in that video straight to the landing platform. That way you can have that for your ad ads if you want to do an Endor type style area so anyways enough babbling let's get to the design uh plenty of comments on the video about the ad app uh needs more detail legs are too thin uh things of that nature I totally agree guys i've tried to do what i can with it uh, again this is my first stab at some star wars designs uh, a lot of the vehicles and uh, the equipment they they have paneling it's a, it's a, it's just a weird special paneling on the side of all their vehicles uh, that all look the same, that carry all that detail. You just can't get out of Minecraft. Without making this thing fat and wide on the outside uh, and adding more blocks on the outside, this is probably about the best that I can do if you want to take the design after we're done with the tutorial and make it better and send me pics. That would be great. That way I can update it and I'll give you a shout out in the next Star Wars type video uh, that surrounds you know, anything with the ad ads in it. But uh, anyways, like I said, I've tried mixing some different colors on the sides of the body. Uh, I didn't really like the connected textures. Uh, it didn't look really good. And the legs, if I go three wide, they look very, very fat. Uh, makes it look like this, uh, <laughs> like he's on steroids. But anyways, enough babbling. Let's get to the tutorial, and then you guys can build it and customize it however you like. All right, guys, there's two different versions that I have. I have a straight-legged version, and then I have a walking version. These two here are the same. They're just mirrored. At the end of the tutorial, I'll show you how to switch out the legs. They're all going to connect into the same spot anyways. But let's drop down here. We're going to be using quartz, uh, stairs, slabs, and also buttons, and a regular block of quartz. So each foot pattern is exactly the same. They're going to be three wide across the middle, one on each end, just like that and then slabs around the outside. Really, really super easy. All right, you're gonna build the middle up by two, put stairs on the outside, gonna build up these, and then put stairs on the outsides of those, and then two blocks across the middle, and that forms the base for each foot. Again, each foot is exactly the same. All right, so width-wise between each foot, You've got one space, and then, of course, you will build another foot just like that. And I'm just going to outline where it is. So there's that one. And then between the front and the back feet, you have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you've got the same little pattern of feet. So it looks just like that. And then skip one. And that should be your foot pattern. I'm going to build the other three and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, so that's what you should have so far. And then I just put some buttons at the bottom again. All, all the buttons on here are optional. And it's just the only bit of trim that I actually put on the thing. Uh, just to kind of signify like where the middle piece is and, and where it connects. Again, you can trim this out however you want. Let's continue on. Again, each one is exa exactly the same for the straight-legged version. We're going to go up by five, two, three, four, five. And then on this block right here, we're just going to go out. And the only reason we're setting these is because we're going to turn the stairs to the inside just like that. All right, again, five on top of that. One, whoops, solid block. One, two, three, four, five. And then stairs on each side just like that. And then surround here, 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 and here. Four with buttons. And that makes your straight leg. Very, very simple. Again, go ahead and make the other three and we'll be right back. All right, guys, you should have all four legs built. Now now we can decide which way we want the ad at to be facing, front or back. We're going to keep in line with all the other ones that I have here, and that's going to be my front and that's going to be my back. So starting in the back, or actually it doesn't matter, I right, grab some solid blocks and go right across here just like that. And they're just going to be placeholders for right now. And we're going to double that up and we're going to put two to the front and two to the back. All right, now we're going to replace these other ones with stairs so you're just going to have two here going to the inside and two here going to the outside 
So it makes a little bridge. So you got two here, two here, and then two on the outside. And then you're going to bring this forward by one and then turn it. Bring this forward one and then turn it. And then wrap this around to the back by putting two on each side, a stair on the end, and then two on each side, and then slabs in the corners, just like that. All right, and then do something similar in the front. So we're just going to come off again here on the inside and run it too wide. And then we're just going to go one to the front, and then that should turn into nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you have upside down stairs, and then you're going to have a slab. And then on this side here, you're going to have an upside down stairs and then a slab. And that should leave one gap in between that you can put a wooden trap door. And that's, I guess, supposed to represent where loot goes up inside in the movie. All right, back up here to the front, we're going to take some upside down stairs and we're going to replace this to the outside, this to the inside, and same thing here, facing the inside, and then facing the outside. Add two more to the back and one more set to the front. So again, it should look just like that. And then we're going to finish off the back here with some slabs. Leave one block open. One, two, three, four, five. Again, it should look just like this. All right, guys, so right back here from where these steps turn in, you're going to go forward with some slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should have a two block gap right there. And then same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and then just to the outside of that with a solid block starting right here which should be a slab and then a stair behind. We're gonna go front to the front going solid blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you should have one block left over. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Go back to your slabs and we're just gonna outline this piece right here. All right, so it should look just like that. All right, back to your front, you're gonna grab your quartz blocks and put two here. And then to the inside, you're gonna go back six. One, two, three, four, five, six and one two three four five six and then cover up these two holes here just like that and actually if you want you can go ahead and fill everything in solid because uh, this is going to make the floor to the uh to the head area or the cockpit area so if you just want to go ahead and fill that in i'm going to put a slab on the outside of these right here and then we're going to go back by eight one two three four five six seven eight so it should stop right there and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then in the gap right here. So we're going to go in by one, in by one, and we should go back five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, and we're just going to switch over to our stairs and we're going to wrap around the back. All right, so that layer should look like that. All right, guys, right here, I said that was the cockpit area where the head is. It's not. The head's going to be out here. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyways, right across here where these three are, you're going to go one. Oops, you need solid one, two, and then back, make it five. Two, three, four, five. So again here, one, and then out, two, three, four, five. So it makes a little L. And then on the outside of that, put slabs. One, two, three, four, five. And then here, one, two, three, four, five and five all right now where the head comes out we're going to go back to our solid pieces and we're going to turn this into three so just add two all right add some more across the middle here go ahead and fill that in solid and then come out by one and then go forward two two three four five and i think i added an extra block down there and i don't need it so again come out by one two three four <laughs> four five come across the front here fill that in solid put three and then an upside down stairs here and then two slabs on each side, exposing one block to the front, just like that. All right, continuing back, grab your blocks. And right behind these slabs, you're going to go back 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it should overhang by 1. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Overhanging by 1. All right, drop in by 1 and just follow this around. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then cover the back. And then drop in and cover that up and then backtrack covering with your slabs on each side all right again another look at that layer all right guys the back is really really easy so starting right here where these slabs are on the front corners you're just going to build that up by five one two three four five on each side two three four five just like that all right, and then the pattern going up, and you can leave this block here. You're just going to fill this in solid behind it, but you're going to go up two, 
and again two two and same thing on the other side and one two three four five I need one more there we go two two and then two all right and then seven across the top so go up one more and go one two three four five six seven same thing here one two three four five six seven and then we're gonna go down by three one two three one two three and then two sets of two so there's two two and then two and then two and then out by one and out by one and then straight down and it should connect into the corners if it didn't you did something wrong <laughs> all right just all you're going to do now is just fill everything in so just bring this across fill that in fill this in and make your just follow the stair pattern up connecting the top filling the top in solid all the way down to the front same thing here just going to bring this in by two bring that in and then come across here and then come across here and you can leave that open for right now and fill in the sides and you will have the back is complete all right guys so that's what you should have so far all right let's go ahead and finish off the head uh, we can go ahead and close this in and make a little bit of a door so that you can walk through from the inside of the cargo area up into the cockpit area all right straight forward from that we're gonna go one two three and then we're gonna go out by one same thing here one two three and then out by one all right go out right here in this little gap and go forward four all right connect up on the back cover up two of them one two and then go forward by one so you're putting in three and covering up that little gap right here gonna come in by one gonna come in by one and again this is the cockpit type area so you can go ahead and put in a console or someplace you know to put some gauges and some uh, levers and some buttons and then put some seats behind that right here and here and then I've got a couple more seats right back here again you can uh, decorate the inside however you wish and then on the front just go ahead and put some upside down stairs and three slabs so again it should look just like that all right next layer guys again with your saw blocks make this L pattern and then go to the outside and cover up these four on each side and then cover up these again three to the inside and then you're going to take your stairs and you're going to go upside down on each side and then turn and then back to the front just like that and again so turn to the side and then face back to the front so it should turn and make a little bit of a, uh, a corner piece and then right on top of these slabs go ahead and put three more and then put your glass pieces in right here three across all right so it should look just like that all right back to your solid quartz we're just about done we're going to start covering up this, uh, this up so go ahead again with the three pieces here and then two slabs across the middle or three slabs excuse me no two slabs <laughs> and then take your quartz block and fill in between and go out by one on each side and then go forward by six two three four five six so i should leave this piece on the outside for the exterior gun which is going to have two pieces of slabs in the middle so again on this side one two three four five six one two three four five six two slabs on the outside all right back to the inside we're going to fill this in with solid pieces so three here and then three in front of that and then back to your slabs to make the little hole in the front i don't look right oh <laughs> all right <laughs> these slabs here go on the bottom hit uh hit box guys i thought he looked like he had his eyes open a little bit too much so drop those down to the bottom all right, let's go ahead and finish this off with our quartz blocks. We're going to go right across the back. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're just going to fill this in by four. One, two, three, four. Do it three times. And then we've got stairs that go around the outside here. And make sure that that one tries to turn. And then go across the front and turn the sides just like this. Gives it a little bit more dimension. And then same thing here. And turn that one. And then all you have is just a row of slabs across the back, and that finishes off your at at. Now, as far as your guns go, we've got five pieces of gate that come out right here, and you can use whatever you want one, two, three, four, five, and then just put your gates on top, and then get rid of whatever you used. Put a button on the outside if you want, and then you've got another set right under here next to the stair piece. So, again, you've got one, <laughs> put one down, and you can go forward by three one, two, three and put them on top and get rid of those and that is your guns and that is your at at now as far as your walking feet again we can fly around this here that way you can see the guns 
There we go. And I put tinted glass in mine. I thought it looked a little bit better. Uh, anyways, as far as the feet in the walking position, uh, everything starts the same up here at the top. So as far as your stairs, and then the first two blocks are exactly the same. So it's really easy to switch this out. You'll just rip everything from here out down uh, to make it in the walking position. Figure out which way you want it to be facing. Uh, as far as the right foot going forward or the left foot going forward, um, you're just going to mirror this to the other side if you want it reversed. So I'm going to show you with the right foot facing forward and then you guys can reverse it for the left foot facing forward. Pretty easy. So again, that's going forward. This is the front right foot. So starting right below these two blocks, you're going to just put two more blocks and then put a group of four going to the front, connect it on that one here. And then you're going to put two more going to the front here. And there's your upside down stairs and then a set of blocks underneath and then four more blocks going back and then your two blocks here and then your foot pattern from the beginning everything is the same so you should be about uh, let's see a block and a half off the ground if you did it right and then you can put your buttons in where you want the foot behind that or the leg behind that rather uh, you've got a four block pattern here below the stairs move forward four blocks six blocks total and then your buttons and then your two upside down stairs slid forward by one and then straight down from that we've got a group of four and then connected on the front here slid forward by one we've got our six blocks and then our foot should be touching the ground all right on the other side opposite of that your back uh, leg we've got six blocks slide back by one two blocks and then upside down stairs and then a four block pattern and then slide back and we've got our six blocks and then our foot and then just leave the front left foot, or I <laughs> keep calling it foot, the front left leg rather straight. That way it looks like there's, you know, weight kind of bearing on that and it's in the moving position. I think that looks really, really well. Now I did try to make a three block wide pattern foot <laughs> leg. <laughs> and, uh, and this is kind of what I come up with um, for those that were saying that the, the legs need to be a lot wider. This is what it looks like with three, and I just was not happy with this at all. But if you want to use this and, uh, and try to mani uh, manipulate the legs a little bit better, go ahead. It's just a, th a three block wide. Everything's the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks down. And then underneath that, I've got some stairs facing the inside with a slab. And then stairs on the outside here. Upside down stairs here. Upside down stairs here to connect to this middle piece, which is nine blocks on the bottom. And then stairs on the outside here facing to the inside and three blocks to the middle turn these on the outside just like that and then you've got a solid block on the outside and then slabs here and here and then a solid block here all right and then to the inside here i've got a little bit of uh, another brick fence uh, because it does have a, a mechanism that that connects the uh, the bottom pedestal to the, the large part of the leg, whatever you call that piece anyways. Again, that's um, that that's all I could come up with, guys. If you come up with something better, go ahead. Uh, as far as it connecting into the platform, find the Tidarium Shuttle uh, tutorial, which should be in the description, and you can just line it up. Uh, so you just got one block to the left right here. Um, if you want a little bit more accurate, uh, just throw some blocks right here. We're gonna come out by one just like that and we're gonna go forward one two and then your foot is off by one so just like that and that will start off of your shuttle platform if you've made the shuttle platform and that is it guys that is all for the ad at hope you guys really enjoyed the tutorial I said something different my first stab at it. I hope I did okay I hope you guys really liked it uh, add some different uh, details to the outside to the inside and send me some pictures on Facebook tweet them to me I'll retweet them if I like them and uh, we'll shout you out if I use them on mine other than that like always guys I appreciate you watching remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you guys on the next one later